Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for May 21st, 2020. Well, yesterday we continued to remain challenged by our price resistance in the chart. The SPY actually kicked out just a little bit better results than uh, what I'm showing here in the diamonds, but we continued to remain challenged. As a matter of fact, the majority of the price action of this week has really been contained in the morning gaps and then we spend the rest of the day chopping so what does that mean for the day moving uh well today what does that mean for today how about we grab ourselves something to drink let's uh, get all comfy in our chairs and let's prepare for the morning market prep video on thursday so we are heading into a three-day weekend and the market seems to be suffering from a lack of momentum um, we have bulls and bears uh, seemingly equally matched here right at price resistance we try and try and try the bulls push the bears push back um, not a lot of price action on the intraday of the market in fact the majority of our price action this week has really been contained in the big overnight gaps now this morning we're facing another one of those gaps with futures pushing down slightly they were down much much more than they are right at the moment right now dow futures are looking down 91 points they were down over 150 points earlier and may gravitate toward that but i think right now we're getting that morning pump coming in like has been normal lately every morning we just push and pump and push and pump in the morning uh, preparation and then sometimes by the time we open we actually slide back south so kind of an interesting market here as we force this thing around and just that uncertainty and unable to, uh, unableness uh, lack of momentum to be able to push through some re resistance levels in the chart now overall we still got to give this up to the bulls the bulls are still in uh, control here overall holding above their 50-day moving average and our 50-day moving average is getting that opportunity to flatten out and start turning around so I still kind of have to give the edge to the bulls here because we're remaining overall in this upward uh, trend although we are really challenged and if we if we're honest we have been locked in a range here for the better part of two months without much uh, movement in there and uh, the big the big tech stocks have been the majority of the lifting being done here in the market let's take a look at the spy real quickly SPY had a little bit better response yesterday challenged that breakthrough um, yesterday morning but just really couldn't hold on to it we just just this little back and forth we do have that slight elevation in price here on the s p 500 and one thing that is technically good just like in the dow we've got that 50-day moving average here starting to flatten out and turn giving us a little bit more security here in the chart but we remain challenged by that price resistance and right here at that 200 day moving average we're pressing 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 um it's it's pretty interesting market right now where it's all bulls all the time um pushing 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 but really in very select stocks and i'll show you here in a moment what i mean by that but um pretty interesting market overall and once again if we're honest with, with ourselves we've kind of been locked in this range now for about a month and a half or more here in the spy now the QQQ is by far the strongest of the indexes and it did lead again yesterday pushing through some price resistance in this relentless move to push its way back up here toward um, um, all-time highs in the market we continue to see leadership by stocks like Apple um, Amazon um, Google and Microsoft and as long as those four stocks continue to move up the S&P 500 continues to move higher um, the big four now encompass and I've said this before a, tw a full 20 percent 
of the um, S&P 500. And so I'm not sure we're getting a really good reflection of the overall S&P 500 with those big four being able to do the majority of the lifting here in the market. But that being said, we continue to push up in the NASDAQ and we're pushing up toward these all time highs in the queues, which is really kind of remarkable to me considering we have about 35 million people unemployed. Um, it's truly remarkable that we have been able to absolutely ignore uh, that metric, a, a, a historic number, but we just continue to push higher. So let's take a look at IWM. IWM um, also challenged in this resistance zone. Now, the good news is, is we are above our 2018 low, which we struggled with for a long time, but we do have a major resistance right here that we're dealing with in the chart. We keep pushing and pushing and pushing against it. Yesterday, we tried once again to really pop through and 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 break that and um, really with a support, a big support of um, oil and financials yesterday, that helped quite a bit. But we were uh, continuing to be kind of challenged here by that level. So let's keep an eye on this on IWM. Kind of struggling in here and it's really been very much unloved by the market overall. Now, one of my concerns, as I mentioned uh, before, is if we take a look at XLF, the financial sector, XLF has moved up and that was a good thing to see. I don't believe I've ever seen a sustained market rally without the financials moving up. And we've been struggling here and struggling very, very hard in those financials to get some momentum to move higher. We did finally break this little downtrend. But if we look at this overall, we continue to remain challenged and stuck in a um, zone here in the market. We need to get those going. We also need to see um, transports finally get to moving and you can see our transports here have also been locked into a zone making it very very challenging for the overall market to gain that momentum that we need to move forward so let's keep a close eye on those as we continue to move forward let's take a look at the vix the VIX um, continued to slide south yesterday, even though we, we were just kind of chopping sideways most of the day, everything, all the big move was in the gap. We continue to ch chop around here. Now, kind of an interesting pattern here. And as I've said before, it really doesn't, I really don't see any major fear coming into the market unless we can hold this downtrend as support. What's interesting is when I draw that line, we are really close into um, pushing this all the way back down into here and that possibility that we could bounce from that level. This morning, we're getting that little tiny bit of bearishness pushing in, and it's really going to depend on how we react to the big economic data points that we have today, how this really re reacts. But looking at these support and resistance levels right now we could gain a little bit of support right off of this level if we happen to slip below that well then um, all bets are off and i would say we're going to rally hard if we kind of slip down below through that through that area so keep an eye on the market here let's take a look at t2122 this is the one that gives me a little bit of pause t2122 is suggesting that we're still up here in that bearish reversal zone we whipped all the way down and whipped all the way back up here and so we're dancing around in this um, upper area a little bit of bearishness this morning could suggest that we've kind of reached that point of uh, profit taking and remember we've got a three-day weekend coming up there may be some profit takers coming in as we head into that three-day weekend that little bit of unknown um, there but let's keep an eye on this remember we can stay up here in t2122 for a period of time so don't don't think this suggest, suggests that we automatically uh, swing lower but a little bit of challenge here we may be a bit extended um, in the overall market let's take a look at one other metric here that i thought was kind of interesting yesterday t2101 which is the absolute breadth index of the market this is where the major concern for me comes in and that is the fact that we have been rising rising strongly um, overall in this in this range here just recently 
But notice that uh, the absolute breadth of the market is still in decline. And now what's nice is yesterday we actually did rise and we've got this little bit of a double bottom here in that breadth reading. And we have that possibility of this upside wedge, uh, this little wedge being uh, formed here. So we want to keep a close eye on this. This could pop either direction. But I think it's interesting that as we continue to press and press, it really is that big four in the... Uh, um, the big four stocks that are really doing the majority of the lifting and we still haven't been able to get those other stocks to really join in and provide a whole lot of push to the upside. So watch this closely. We could easily see this if we get that bearish move. We could easily see this continue in that declining pattern here in the market. So breath has been really kind of um, shaky and giving us a little bit of concerns. One of the reasons we've been locked in such a a uh, strong range here in the market let's take a look at our economic calendar for today and this is going to be a big news day today on that economic calendar now whether or not we get any reaction to it i can't tell you and i i'll i'll be honest in saying it's just truly remarkable to me that uh, we have been able to literally ignore the jobless situation um, so far so we've got about 35 million people unemployed and just largely ignoring that information as we continue to push this market up. Um, this morning we're going to get another reading here on um, employment and right now I th the estimate is somewhere around two and a half million people additional people applied for unemployment. They have been declining since our biggest number, our historic record number, but we'll have to watch, wait and see how that actually comes in and if the market reacts to it at all. Um, Philly Fed business outlook. Um, that's going to be um, also a market mover this morning. We have PMI flash and existing home sales. It's possible this could be one of the bigger drivers of the market today. We'll keep an eye on that, but watch those close as they come out. Also keep in mind that we have some more Fed speakers. They just can't seem to stay out of the news here lately. Fed speakers, we got the National Gas Report. And we have Mr. Powell speaking at 2.30 today. Always something we want to pay attention to. And also we have a Fed balance sheet. But we all know that that's going through the roof nobody seems to care about that so probably no issue or worry right there that the balance sheet just continues to grow in this crisis so let's uh, take a look at our earnings calendar today we have our second biggest day today on thursday of earnings with a few particularly notables that we want to keep an eye on um, here today so let's take a look at some of those earnings reports we have uh, um, a um, reporting this morning you can see it looks like we're getting a gap down here in Allegiant we'll want to keep an eye on that AINV is reporting today and gapping up nice little pattern here in this chart breaking through this wedge so now with this break higher on earnings possibly any rest consolidation or pullback to hold that as support could be a nice upside uh, potential trade keep an eye on that as uh, fish, uh, these financial services Apollo starts looking pretty good uh, BBY BBY gapping down this morning. Best Buy not looking so good this morning, getting a little bit of a gap down on its earnings reports. Uh, BJ, BJ gapping up this morning. So a lot of back and forth here in the market this morning. Deckers is also on my list this morning. Uh, no report here yet, just our super, super wide bid ass spread as we wait for that. Um, Hewlett Packard um, Enterprise. Um, reporting today. We'll want to keep an eye on that. We've got Hormel. This will be an interesting one with the challenges that we've been facing in the meatpacking industry, how um, Hormel reports this morning. Um, Intuit. Um, this afternoon um, will be one of our big tech reports that we'll want to keep an eye on today and also NVIDIA will be an important very important market moving uh, potentially market moving report to this afternoon um, and NVIDIA is now at all-time highs um, uh, truly truly remarkable 
um, that nothing on this economy has slowed this down from moving higher. Take a look at Pan W. Pan W. Um, whoops. Pan W. Palo Alto will also be reporting today. Let's keep an eye on that. We have some retail. Ross Stores will be reporting. Keep an eye on those. We've got a little oil and gas going on. Uh, one of the drillers out here are going to be reporting. Now, this thing um, uh, it really sh probably shouldn't be on this list. A uh, 50 cent stock um, struggling pretty hard here. So um, uh, put it on the list, but wasn't one of the most important uh, stocks out there to be paying attention to. Um, SPLK. Also reporting today, we have TK on the list as a notable, and also TJX, something we might want to keep an eye on as it reports today. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a super day, super, super day. Keep in mind, everybody, we're heading into a three-day weekend, and it's kind of common on three-day weekends that traders lighten up a little bit on their portfolio because of the, the the weekend risk. Now, I can't tell you that that's going to be the same going into this holiday. Um, we've been, this is a very unique market and unique circumstances. So keep a close eye on it. But if we happen to see those sellers coming in, it would be something certainly to pay attention to. Right at this moment, Dow futures are pointing down 117. We're getting just a little bit more pressure to the downside here as we progress throughout the morning so hey i want to wish you all the best possible day that you can have in trading but i want to give you some ideas on some stocks that could be setting up before we do that if you guys could do me a favor click that subscribe button on youtube also click that bell icon to make sure you're notified every time i post one of these videos and i want to say thank you so much to everyone who clicks those thumbs up buttons and leaves a brief comment you guys are awesome the channel continues to grow we keep reaching more and more folks I just want to say thank you very much for that. I do put an awful lot of effort into this, putting out a video every single day, but hopefully, hopefully it's it's being seen as helpful to folks. Thank you so much. Let's take a look at uh, some stocks setting up today, and um, I've got a few uh, new ones that I've placed on a list. Take a look at CCJ. Kind of keeping an eye on CCJ. CCJ popped up here, um, went in a nice rally, but we we're struggling with price resistance. And what happened here in that price resistance breaking down here as we are uh, moving along. So we have an actual downtrend starting to, to form up here in this chart. Now, right now, overall, it's really, really difficult to short anything. But as you can see, we have this downtrend moving. So I placed a price alert here. If we were to break down through this price level of support right in here, there could be that short setting up in CCJ. So keep an eye on it. Can't say that it's going to go that way. It is really difficult to short right now, but today might be that day that uh, pushes those over the edge. Take a look at NEM. Newmont Mining continuing to set up in here. Yesterday tried to push a little bit higher, but ultimately ended up pulling back. But we remained in this little choppy range. Gold, gold stocks seem to be holding up quite well not a lot of mo momentum in them but they are trying to hold up i placed an alert on twitter the other day uh, right in here and yesterday it popped that alert and then went through a really strong move yesterday popping up through some resistance here in the chart so now it's a little bit far from being able to pick that up but i suspect a, any kind of rest or pullback in here could really set up an opportunity for a trade keep twitter on your list it's looking pretty darn good now beyond me continues to set up in this uh, in this list and continues to look pretty good this morning we're looking at an open about where we closed we continue to chop sideways here and i've suggested all along to watch for that possibility that we just move over into that trend before we move up but keep beyond meat on your list um full disclosure here i did pick up a little bit of cisco yesterday now this doesn't fit my normal pattern of trading but i've kind of been wanting to get into this and i'm looking at buying this up as a longer term 
long-term hold. It's one of those stocks that um, actually reported well and guided positively forward because of the big trend in um, working from home nowadays. So I'm watching this one closely. Keep an eye on this. I fully expect Cisco to rest or pull back, pulling into this trend. But I wanted to catch a piece of it in case it decides to run up. And I did just start with a small position here on the chart. So keep that one in mind. Um, EVER continues to set up. We have a nice pattern in here consolidating. Watch it it could pop at any time. Activision continues to look very good. Anything in the gaming sector, Activision and EA continue to show good positive signs. Now EA popped out yesterday, got a little bit of pullback after it ran up. Let's continue to watch this in here if that continues to see that bullishness moving into that chart. And last but not least, CRWD. CRWD finally popped that alert yesterday, moving on through and looking pretty good. You might want to keep an eye on that stock. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all a great day. We're going to see you all right back here bright and early Friday morning. Take care, everyone. Be safe. Have a great day of trading. Talk to you soon.